Hey everyone, so this is Catfish Season 6, Episode 8, titled Kalani, Kalani, and Sam. Catfish he is Kalani, and the catfisher is Sam. So, the initial email actually starts out with, and this has been going on the last 2 or 3 episodes now, where someone else is writing in for someone they care about. And it's a guy, it's this guy named Melvin, who is 27 years old, uh, living in California in Southern California, um, he's concerned about his friend, um, because, um, he met this, he, like, Melvin himself met this guy named Sam, who he dated, in, um, and, and, uh, Sam, Sam lives in, uh, Northern California. Um, he saw that there were things, some things off with Sam, so, uh, like, he would never want to video chat, um, and, he, um, when it was time, you know, to come, uh, time for Sam to come down to visit, he claimed he got into a car accident, uh, sent a photo of himself, uh, after Melvin challenged him on it, and he had bruises on his face, but Max, um, like me, was, like, thinking, uh, it's so easy for someone to, um, Photoshop things onto uh, paper or themselves or whatever, um, because we actually had a, um, last season, like, the second part of the season five, they had this, um, uh, they had this, uh, dude who was catfishing multiple people, I think, I think it was, like, the multiple people, multiple women, and he, when they asked to, you know, um, get proof that he was the real person, he had actually, um, photoshopped uh, a message onto a piece of paper and all that stuff and so so it's not that far-fetched to have someone photoshop their pictures um so um Melvin got tired of the run around from Sam so he moved on and supposedly Sam moved on as well and moved on to Melvin's best female friend named Kehlani um, apparently now, Kehlani and Sam talk every single day and are in love. Um, so we call Sam on Skype, um, and find out that Melvin, uh, Sam started talking to Melvin in his DMs. Um, Max, you know, um, was wondering if, uh, wondering, um, if, uh, Sam looks like a normal 19 year old, and, but Melvin's like, well, he's unsure because of Sam's beard and everything. Um, and every time they tried to video chat, it actually turns out that Sam, on Sam's end, it would be pitch black, and he was claiming that his camera wasn't working, or was broken. And Sam, you know, started, um, talking to his friends, uh, to his friends, including Kehlani. So, me and Max find out Kehlani is a woman, and I'm like, did you really think she was a man, though? <laughs> like, just because he seemed to be into, seemed to be talking to, like, he was, he, even though he was talking to, Sam was talking to Melvin, like, did that. anyway. Um, so they bring her into the, con uh, into, into the Skype call, and one of them asks if they got dick pics from Sam, and if they compared the, t the pictures that Sam sent to each of them, and they did, they did so, and found, found out that they were from two different uh, people, um, so, anyway, after they get off a Skype call, they decide to drive to Menifee, California, because it's not that far away from LA, um, and they go to Kalani's house. Kalani, uh, apparently just moved back from Hawaii, um, after getting divorced at age 23. She got married at 23 on, I think she said on her 23rd birthday, um, and got divorced a few months later. Um, well, precisely six months later, um, and the reason she got divorced was because her husband, whom she had just married, um, got engaged to someone else, to some other woman, um, and before she got officially divorced, she would, you know, stay up late, uh, sometimes even all night to talk to Sam about how, about the whole situation, um, and Sam is the one who broke the friendship barrier and said, I love you too, I love you first. And so Kehlani said, I love you back, um, but she wasn't officially divorced at that point, so she was like, hold up, wait a minute, I'm gonna uh, back, uh, focus on my marriage, see if I can save it first before I 
you know, going and go any further into this whole um, uh, relationship. Um, but when that didn't work out and she got back to California, she tried to meet up with Sam. But, like per usual, uh, the catfish um, was, uh, uh, didn't want to meet up. And Sam was saying, oh, well, I have so much homework and all that. And um, yeah, like I have to do so much homework. And um, she even brought up herself, like she didn't understand how if you love me, why, like, or if you love me, why don't you meet up with me? Because you have all this time to, to, you know, call me and spend hours on the phone with me, but you can't manage to meet up with me, like, spend, like, take a few hours out of your day to talk to me or meet up with me. Um, Max is like, well, how is it that, um, when Melvin told you that, uh, all this stuff about uh, Sam being a, a catfish uh, that you just like, simply ignored it because um, uh, he, he's like I don't understand how that happens but anyway because um, in Max, Max is like well it seems like you were trying so hard to uh, keep from having been um, uh, misled twice in one year that's why she did it, but anyway. So they look at Sam's social media and they said that it looks like like they were mad and even Max were thinking they were they were really good fakes. So, um Kehlani, um apparently told Sam about Catfish after the Skype call and started and he started pulling away. Um uh, excuse me. They call him, um, and when he answered he's like, Well, I told Kaylani, I don't want to, um, I don't want Kaylani to, um, want catfish involved, um, and when she bring when she asks him the very understandable question of, um, well, if you both love each other, why won't you take a few hours of your day to come see me? But he's yet again says, well, I have a lot of homework to do. I'm in the middle of studying and all that, so he needs to go. Um, after he hangs up, he's like, well, until he says he'll meet up with you, we're going to do some research. Um, and after we get in the car, Max is like, well, she's trying so hard for him to be real, even though there are so many red flags that she'll ignore them. And I'm like, I, like yes, that's that's pretty much it. Um, I'm not gonna falter too much, or try not to, uh, because I, 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 I will, um, I understand that she, she literally just got divorced, um, not too long ago when she, um, after being married for only six months, and so I understand that she got dumped on and lied, lied to and dumped on by her ex-husband, and she's, she doesn't want this to be the same thing yet again but so I'm gonna try not to be too hard on her because of that because of the whole um, previous divorce thing but at some point you have to you have to face reality and you can't just bury your head in the sand and everything you kind of have to face it and and all that so anyway so the next day, we go to their usual going to a restaurant thing and check the pictures first. We don't find anything with the photos Kaylani sent within the email that she sent them um, about everything about uh, everything they know about or everything she knows about um, Sam. So they check his Facebook page and see he went to high school in Salinas, um, which is it's about 20 minutes drive away from Monterey, California. Um, well, 20 to 30, depending on traffic, I guess. Anyways, um, and he apparently only has 15 friends, which is, in and of itself, a red flag, because, um, it just, um, it, it, I don't quite understand 
I mean, because, like, if people who only have that many friends, I mean, usually tend to not be on Facebook all that often in the first place, which kind of defeats, them, defeats the purpose of having Facebook, in my opinion. Um, so, it's either someone who literally does not go on Facebook all that often, or they have something to hide. <laughs> so, anyway, so they send messages to the friends on his list, um... Including this one woman named Andre, uh, Andrea, Adri or Adriana. Um, they then take some photos from the page that he he is using, and they look him up. Um, one of them comes back to an Instagram page used by a girl named Emma, um, and the guy in the pictures is na is tagged with uh, the name Dom, aka Dominic. Um, they look at Dominic's Facebook page, uh, and, um, after looking at his, uh, Instagram page, and they see that he has over a thousand friends, or just over a thousand friends on Facebook, and currently lives in Salinas. Um, they then send him a message to see if he'll video chat, um, and then they do a phone search, um, for the phone that Kehlani, uh, you know, calls and texts, uh, to. And it comes comes up to uh in uh, to somewhere in Salinas. Um, Max is just looking up the parents uh, of Sam on Facebook. Um, they don't get any results for Ariel, who is supposedly his real father. Um, Adriana then um, calls, and explains that Sam um, had told her that he met. Um, one of her friends, again, supposedly, at um, an event called Pride up in San Francisco. Um, I think she said, I think she, uh, her Facebook page said that she lived in Stockton, I think. I think, I don't remember. Um, but she tried to meet up with him at, uh, in Monterey, but he never showed up, which is, again, uh, like Max said, typical. Um, and she was trying to reach him for almost two hours before he texted back, um, and he said that he fell asleep. And so she was like, well, why the, why, she was all confused, and, uh, because she was like, how could you fall asleep if, you know, you're supposed to meet up with someone, which is true. So, Neven warns her to stay away from him, um, we have to contact her again, because it's clear at this point that, uh, Sam, uh, isn't who he says he is. They then get a call from... Dominic, um, and, at, um, they actually use FaceTime, but he said he's on his way back home, so they make plans to call in five minutes. Um, so they run over to Kalani's house, Kalani's house, before calling, uh, Dominic back, and tell her what they found, tell her a little bit of what they found. Um, they then call Dominic on Facebook, or FaceTime, so not Facebook, FaceTime, um, and then they tell, uh, they tell him what's been going on and ask if anyone had, a, like, you know, this crush on him or something for, uh, to be using his photos or whatever. And he explains that, uh, someone from a big prof uh, Instagram profile asked him, uh, and by vague, I mean, they had literally posted no, no photos on it. Um, and they asked him to verify, uh, his account by sending a picture. Um. And so they, they then ask him, like, if he remembers the, uh, a name associated with it, and he spits out Kalani's last name. Um, so, which is weird. <laughs> so it was Sam pretending to have, a, I guess, be related to Kalani uh, to verify his account, which is weird, because, I mean, why, I, uh, I don't know, it's just weird. Anyway, so after they finish the call, they tell her about Adriana. And so, at this point, at this point, I was thinking it was Melvin, who could possibly find, I mean, I know it was a long shot, but I felt like it could, um, um, cause I, I, I don't know, I felt like it was, cause it's like, we literally saw him for like two seconds at the beginning of the episode, and then, um, Yeah, they showed him like for two seconds in the beginning of the episode, and then they just didn't talk to him at all anymore. 
after that. I mean, I get, I mean, I know this was supposed to be about Kehlani, but I mean, it's like, they, uh, that's what made it fishy to me. It's like that, that's what seemed like, that's how, that's what made it fishy to me was that they, they only showed up for two seconds and then it made it, to me, I made it seem like it was like, you know, him behind it. And the, so that's my conspiracy theorist coming out with me, but anyway. So he then calls Sam only to get his voicemail, so he leaves a voicemail saying that, you know, things have obviously changed um, since the last time that anyone even contacted him and to call them back. Anyway, so uh, they kind of leave for the day and it's because they're not really, there's not really much they can do. So the next day, Kalani calls the Megs just as they're leaving the hotel and, said, and tells them that Sam uh, is on the way to our house in an Uber. Uh, once at our house, Sam isn't there yet, but, um, is on his way to her house, uh, or, but, um, she explains that all he said was that he was in an Uber and coming to our house. Um, and they're all, like, weeded out because he knows where she lives and all that. Like, well, she, if, it, she literally just explained, like, well, I said, he, like, he sent me some letters like, well, that explains it. Like, she, she, like, why did you really think he was gonna just forget where she lived, just just because he happened to send only a few letters? Like, nah. Like, I bet you he remember that shit specifically, uh, just just so that just, just in case this shit happened. Like, anyway, um. So Sam's like, well, I am nineteen and I am from Monterey. Uh, Sam did this because he got made fun of in high school for having feminine features, um, and, and all that, and, um, they, you know, talk for a little bit, and, so they take a break, um, with Neve and Kalani going on the porch for a moment while she smokes, um, then go their separate, uh, separate ways the day after a short break. So the next day, Neve calls Sam, and Sam requests that he speak with Nathan Max by themselves for a second before talking to Kalani again. And he explains, and so they meet up with him at a park, and he says that he is transgender. Um, I had a uh, suspicion that was what, what was going on, because, um, I don't know, I just, uh, something or something, I had a suspicion that was what was going on. Um, but I didn't, obviously didn't know for sure until he, uh, he said something himself. Um, and obviously that's his prerogative to share, um, if he wants to, so. Um, so they go over to Kalani's house t so Sam can tell her, um, himself. So, and she says that she, she's not mad at him, but she does need space, um, before she can, like, you know, be 100% friends, I guess. Um, so, anyway, uh, they do the whole two months later thing, um, and Kalani really isn't talking to Sam, but she does have a boyfriend who works at UPS, and they make this, these terrible, this Neve Max make these terrible ass puns, um, like, does he hand you a care? <laughs> no, I can't even say that shit with a straight face. Like, I can't even say that shit with a straight face. But he's like, can you, can you, can you, hand, can you hand you care? Hand you with care? And, um, uh, is he keeping you grounded? And shit, it's just terrible ass puns. It's just really terrible ass puns. Like, <laughs> like terrible ass puns. Anyway, so, um, Sam, they get in touch with Sam, and, um, he is wanting to be an EMT. And he actually has come out to some of his friends, a few of his friends. Um, I'm assuming he hasn't come out to his family since he didn't mention it, but that's that's what I'm assuming. Um, so that's pretty much the entire episode. And I do have kind of uh, a few issues. Uh, one of them being that last episode, uh, last week's episode, they showed at the end of it, they showed a preview of some some a, a woman that, who looked completely different different than Kalani, uh, in what was supposed to be last night's episode. I assumed it be last night's episode, and she was getting proposed to. Um, I don't mind so much if they had a different episode, but I mean, 
So I'll let you show the preview for the actual episode that's coming on on Wednesday night, uh, or next Wednesday night. Instead of showing a completely different episode, or preview for a different, completely different episode, uh, when you're not even going to show it the next 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 Wednesday night. So, I, I, I had an issue with that, because I was like, I, I realized it after, I, 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 didn't even re I, I didn't even realize that they showed a different preview last week until like maybe like three fourths of the way into the episode and I was like, wait a minute, but this isn't the same this isn't the same episode. I didn't even realize it until like how like <laughs> anyway. Um apparently, because I didn't see uh, any preview for next week's episode, but apparently their uh, preview for next week's episode is the same exact one. So uh, I'm going to assume that if they're showing the same exact preview two weeks in a row, that ne definitely next next week they're going to have the episode that the preview is previewing. <laughs> so, um, anyway, so that's kind of my first uh, little rant there. Second is how they went pretty much easy on Sam. Um, I get it's hard to come out as either a lesbian, gay, or bi uh, bisexual or transgender. I get that. But it still doesn't mean that they, what they did was okay. Um, and it seemed like they really went easy on her, on him because he is transgender and his family w wouldn't necessarily accept him. Uh, because Apparently, they might. I, I don't know. I don't remember if he said that they were ultra or not ultra conservative, but really conservative, or not, or what. But all he said that they wouldn't. All he said was that they wouldn't accept him. Still doesn't give you the right to do that shit, and you deserve to be at least somewhat chewed out for it. Um, because that doesn't absolve just because you have you're having a hard time being who you are at the moment doesn't absolve you from fucking someone else's feelings over. Uh, Still doesn't absolve you from that. Uh, if it was anybody else, they would have chewed, chewed their ass out. They would have. Um, so, uh, just because you're having somewhat of a hard time, or not somewhat of, hard, somewhat of a hard time, but just because you're having a hard time coming out to your family, doesn't give you the right to just run over someone's feelings, then reverse, uh, rev back over their feelings, like, run over their feelings and back over their feelings and run over their feelings and back over their feelings because you're having a hard time. doesn't give you a right to do that. I mean, well, yes, if your family disowns you, that's not, that's not a cool thing for your family to do, obviously, because they should love you no matter what, but it still doesn't give you the right to fucking just blatantly fucking run over someone's feelings because you're having a hard time right now. I mean, uh, I'm sorry, that, that was kind of like a little rant there, I'm sorry, it was just, I, uh, it just kind of irked me a little bit, um, so, um, anyway, uh, hopefully, uh, next week's episode is actually the promo that we saw, the, what we saw in the promo, um, so, yeah, that's basically, um, all I really have this week, um, I don't know, this seemed like, I don't know, it seemed like more of a run-of-the-mill episode. I'm still kind of, like, it's still, this whole season seems still kind of meh. Um, I'm still waiting for that one big, um, shocker. Uh, like, I'm still waiting for that, like, I'm still waiting for that one episode where it's, like, the, like the person that's catfishing, the person who who writes into catfish, is someone that the catfish he knows. Like I'm still waiting for the the person, like the catfisher, being someone that the catfish he knows, like knows and personally, like a best friend or someone who is in love with them, like a guy who's in love with this girl, like the uh, this girl uh, or the girl who writes in, and, or the. Uh, girls in love with the guy who writes in or whatever like some, there's something like that because I'm waiting for something like that to happen because I've been saying it for a while now like I've really been saying it for a while now but 
Um, that and the, and the only reason why I said it last week was because I saw the promo about how the girl with the short, I guess she like short dyed red hair or whatever, um, was getting proposed to, and so I assumed that this was gonna be the episode, like last night's episode, but apparently not. But anyway, um, so that's why I said that's why I said it last week so that it looked like that's what, what last night's episode, episode was gonna be about. It looked like she was like this dude was like the guy who was catfishing her was someone that she knew. And he just didn't know how to tell tell her that she, he was in love with her, so because <laughs> all she all she was doing, like all she saw him as was like this 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 friend and and all that. So, um, so that's why I was like that's why I said it last week, but they showed a completely different episode last night. So anyway, um, hopefully next week is going to be the uh, episode uh, the pro, uh, pre promo was showing uh, previewing for next week so who knows um but yeah um basically all i have um so i'm still like i said i'm still waiting for that one episode where the person knows the person who, who's catfishing them so i'm still waiting because they've had a couple of those on the on previous seasons it's not much it's not often but um i'm still waiting for something like that to happen or just, just like something major to like some major twist because i mean so far it's just been kind of dull like the the twists that they supposedly happen are happening that aren't really that big of twists to me so I, I don't know so I'm just waiting for something like that to happen and I don't know hopefully it will but yeah so far this season's just been kind of like mm, no nothing like really huge or spontaneous happening so eh anyway so I'll see you guys next week.